We're joined by Chagas Grass 10 advisor Neve Dial to give a monthly update on discussing grazing management tips for the month ahead. Neve discusses current growth rates, grass covers, and some of the variation we see across the country. We discuss building covers as we head into the autumn, with Neve offering advice on reducing demand and fertilizer application. We finish up with Neve offering tips on current grazing management. Yes, so Kieran, there's a huge variability in grass growth and grass supply across the country. Some parts of the south and east are still experiencing soil moisture deficits, and this is having an impact on growth rates on these farms. So just for the coming week, there is 20 mil rainfall forecasted for the south and 40 mil rainfall forecasted for north, with predicted grass growth on average 50 kilos of dry matter per hectare. As there is such a variability in grass growth across the country, it's important for each farmer to assess their own average farm cover and take action now if behind targets. So continue to walk the farm weekly to follow the autumn grazing targets. Eve, obviously that's going to have a big impact on grazing conditions as well. What have overall grass covers been like on farms around the country? So average farm cover has remained static at 790 kilos of dry matter per hectare over the past week on dry stock farms. There is a variation in average farm covers between the south and the north. The north is receiving more rainfall than the south. So the south is in that soil moisture deficit and it is impacting average farm covers. So it's important to assess where you are in terms of the autumn grazing targets. So compare this to your average farm cover. So if you have a farm cover that 600 kilos of dry matter per hectare, action needs to be taken to reduce demand immediately. Neve, building covers are important. What are the targets for heading into September? Yes, so it's important to build, to focus on building covers now to ensure good quality grass is kept in front of the lambs for the autumn and winter period, and also to ensure the farm is set up for the yews grazing in the spring. So your targets then are aim for rotation of 30 days and an average farm cover of 1,000 kilos of dry matter per hectare by the 1st of September, then aim for 20 days ahead at the start of September, building to 30 days ahead by the end of the month. In terms of building that cover, I suppose we have to also be conscious that we might be carrying a little bit more stock into the back end. How important is it to assess demand at this time of the year? So it's very important to assess demand and look at ways to reduce to allow you to build these covers. So it has to be noted that there is lambs that are behind target and you might be carrying them on longer than expected. So then on the demand side, you need to take stock of what numbers are on farm and how long they'll be grazed for, particularly in the case of lambs. So if you're behind your 20 days ahead at start of the month or you're struggling to build covers, one key action then is to reduce demand by removing culls selling stores or other livestock and reducing introducing supplement. And the opposite side of that is, I suppose, putting supply in front of them. In terms of fertiliser application, we're heading into the last couple of weeks where we can go with fertiliser. What's the advice on that? So farmers should establish their remaining nitrogen allowances as there is just three weeks left to apply fertiliser. The response for fertiliser generally declines in early September, so apply now for best results. Apply slurry or compound fertiliser on ground that was cut for surplus bales or silage to replenish your P&K offtakes. Then where there is no P allowance, products like 29-0-14 can help to replace K on paddocks. Ensure that you stay within your limits on the farm nutrient plan. And if any doubt, just check with your advisor. Something very important to do at the moment. Look, in terms of fodder as well, I have to be conscious of something possibly overlooked on cheap farms to ensure we've enough feed supply for the winter. And if you don't, it's supposed to be a key thing to to secure it at the moment. Yes, so weather conditions so far in 2024 have seen grass growth levels well below normal. Do you know, and this has resulted in fodder stocks being behind target on some farms. So it's important then to assess your current fodder situation by completing a fodder budget on pasture-based Ireland. Actions taken early within the farm gate will be most cost effective. So if you are low on fodder stocks, take any available opportunity for turf cut silage and surplus bales where possible. Reduce your winter feed requirement where possible through extending the grazing rotation and building stocks of grass for the autumn. Feed animals then maybe for early finishing and sell some stock earlier than planned. It really is a key couple of weeks to set us up for that tail end rotation. If we come back to just current management, in terms of our grazing advice, what's our target grazing heights, covers and residuals for lambs and ewes over the coming weeks? So our target pre-grazing cover is 1,500 to 2,000 kilos of dry mash per hectare, or 8 to 10 centimetres. It's important to graze these swards down to 6 centimetres with lambs and following in the rotation with the main yo group to graze out to between 4 and 4.5 centimetres. 
So Gray's thinner yaws where body condition score needs to be improved before breeding alongside your finishing or replacement yaw lambs. Always prioritise the best grass available on the farm to lambs and thinner yaws. In terms of grass supply, then just aim for your 20 days ahead at start of September, billing to 30 days ahead by the end of the month. Neil, I think that's been a useful update. Look, just for regular updates, the Grass 10 newsletter, how do you go about subscribing to that? So you can subscribe to the Grass 10 newsletter on the Chagas Public website or in the description of this podcast. Neve, thanks for having you on. We'll chat to you again next month. Thanks very much, Kieran. We'll leave it there for this week's episode. Neve will join us again next month to offer some grazing management tips for the month ahead. I have included a link in the show notes where you can subscribe to the Grass 10 newsletter and get weekly updates on the programme. That's it for me for this episode. For updates on the sheep programme, keep an eye on our Twitter page at Chagas Sheep. I'm Kieran Lynch. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to follow us wherever you get your podcasts.